What is up everyone? Night Fury here from Tales of the Tome, going right back into Pokemon Academy Life with the latest update, part a dos. So, um, we're on Tuesday of week two, so I don't have anything I can think of other than go download the game for yourself if you're interested in playing it on Pokemon Visual's Twitter page. Now, let's get right back into it! Whoa! Hello there. Welcome to my personal space. What's up? I was thinking we could go out to the fields together this morning before school begins. Maybe catch some new Pokemon, you know? Ooh. Yes, yes, yes. That sounds great. Just the two of us? Yeah, I'd ask the others, but uh, looking around, you see that Caleb and Ethan are still fast asleep. Hilbert is notably not. It is staring straight up at the ceiling, unblinking. The Matman must be a master of his body, unflinching, unblinking, and never give in to any weaknesses. Try to get me out of this bed before 7 a.m. and I will commit murder. But you're already awake, brah. Did you not hear me? Murder. I will commit it before 7 o'clock Kobukan standard time. Death will come as a result of my actions. I don't get it. Uh, hey, Brandon, how about we just uh, get out of here before Helbert really starts explaining, all right? <laughs> uh, we'll talk to you later, Helbert. Uh, we're all cool. Let's go. All right. It's all right, buddy. You can stay here if you want. No. Or you can come with us, I guess. Man, you're moody in the mornings, aren't you? I should call you a pecanery. Huh? Oh, you know, like Pikachu and Flannery. Flannery is a girl in my homeroom who uh, really doesn't handle mornings well. Huh? Not sure I like the name. How about uh, Flachu? Gazuntite. I will murder both of you. Both. That's a blood. Blood and death. Is there an or to that sentence, or? Get out! Okay, now I think I'd still be better if we went with your third idea. Yeah, that was a good one. What was that one again? Flanachu? That does sound a lot better than the other ones. Yeah, except two ends. So like, Flanachu. I don't know, bro. It sounds like a bit too much like Flan Nachos. I think I just came up with it like because I was hungry. <laughs> hungry for the nachos, I guess? I know you don't like sweet things. Well, I'm glad someone does. I swear, I keep telling May, but I think she really only knows how to make candy. I volunteered to cook so many times, but... Oh, oh not where I expected this to go. Oh, sorry, bro. Ever shared, huh? We're cool. Just, we'll just settle with Flanachu then. Right on. Okay, how are they going to handle catching Pokemon here? How are we going to find him. Oh shit, we ran all the way here. Didn't even notice. Looks like we're not the only ones. Check it out. Hey, bros! You guys going for a run before school? We sure are. I thought we might catch some Pokemon as well. Right on, brother! What's a student council member doing here this early in the morning? Just running? Sorta. Of. I'm also restocking the fields with imported Pokemon. Whoa, I knew the Pokemon here were imported, but I didn't think that the student council was responsible for importing them. I volunteered for this, actually. Anything to get me out of the SC office, you know? My Hariyama hates all the paperwork Roxanne makes us do. Are all student councils so focused on paperwork, that kind of stuff? Uh, it depends on how the Prez wants to run it, really. Some SCs are all about organizing tournaments and new programs for the school. Some are about enforcing discipline and making sure that Kobukon's reputation don't slip and its budget is alright. Really depends. The council might be very active or very passive, very powerful or very weak. Even just the time of the year can change that. 
the biggest changes always happen after election. Anyway, that's what the guy last year told me. <laughs> I'm pretty much forgotten what the last council was like. It's been Roxanne Council for the last year, and we haven't really done much. Oh, sorry, man. Do you feel like you missed out? Nah, I bagged the student council prez. <laughs> That's way better than actually getting anything done. My man! <laughs> hey, as a student council member, what do you think about the new candidates campaigning for student council? Well, these... Those two Kalos kids are probably going to get in. They've been pretty busy campaigning and they're not saying anything that scares people away. Sharon? Well, I'm not so sure about. I mean, Roxanne really doesn't like him. He's given one too many speeches about the complacency of the current administration. Really, of all the candidates I know of, it seems like he's been trying the hardest. And his ideas do sound really good, if hard to achieve. Yeah, well, Roxanne was like that before she got elected, too. I mean, she's school. The school's a business. Some stuff a student just can't do. Maybe you should tell Sharon this. You might need to hear it from someone with experience. Maybe I will. But it might be nice to let him have hope for a little bit longer. Hey, I just realized where I remember you from. We met on the first day, didn't we? In Inspira. Yeah, that's right. Hiccup here. I really gotta thank you for covering for me back then. It's alright. I did slow you down, after all. Nah, no, I meant... Here, have a bunch of these. Normally I throw these in random parts of the field so new students can find and use them, but this time, I'll give them directly to you. Oh, cool. Random Pokeballs. Yes. They're covered in sweat. Ew. Anyway, now I remember your name. I get why you're asking about the student council stuff. Huh? What do you mean? Well, you're running for student council, aren't you? Uh, d yes, but I actually haven't, like, started. And I've only got two weeks left. Huh. Maybe it's just who you're hanging out with. Maybe. I've been hanging out a lot with Serena. Maybe people just see the two of us together, know that Serena is involved in student council stuff, and think I am too. Hey, maybe. That's basically how I got roped into this. It's all popularity contest in the at the end of the day, you know? Yeah, I guess so. Is all of this just because of Frenergy? Wish I could share it with Sharon. Poor guy needs it way more than me. Anyway, bros, I'm off. Hey, bro. Ha! Huh, bro, I already did. I liked your vibe the day I met ya. Heck yeah. You just need to get a bit tougher for yourself, all right? If something goes wrong, SC is the first place people blame. You need some thicker skin if you want to survive that. Well, it's been real, bros. I'm out. Bye. All right, let's go catch some wild Pokemon. Want to team up with me? I totally would, but if your Pokemon don't listen to you super well, it's probably for the best if we stay in our own lanes, you know? It'd probably be a lot harder to catch Pokemon with both our guys acting at once. Ah, oh, yeah, that makes sense, dude. Well, catch you later, then. Let's meet up before we go back to the dorms. Alright, time to catch some new Pokemon. Since I can only keep six on me at a time, I don't have anywhere to store my extras yet. I should be careful about filling up my party. I might be stuck with the same six Pokemon for a while. If I fill up my party now, you never know when a strong or rare Pokemon will show up. Okay, okay, how are they going to handle this? How are they going to handle this? Go exploring, yes. A Zigzagoon. Um, I'm not going to waste my time with this. Go exploring, come on. Uh, Nidoran's not bad, but... Mm, not really what I'm looking for. Failed to get away? Come on. <sighs> Come on, give me something good. Give me something. A Bunnelby. Uh, I don't think. Yeah, my typing is not really gonna work with that, I think. Uh, I'm just gonna go. <sighs> Come on. 
Give me something to sh shoot at. Give me something to shoot at. Don't want a zigzagoon. Mail me it around. Hmm. I don't know. Do I have poison? I was planning on taking poison classes. Uh, I guess I could do this. Okay, okay, okay. Yes! Gotcha! Okay. Uh, do I want to give him a nickname? I will call him... Beast King. No, no, that's dumb. Um, eh, I'll go with something simple. I'll call him Tank. Okay, I'm gonna explore for a little bit. Hopefully, they've got something a little. Yes! Yes! Oh! Oh, this is one of my favorites. Okay. Uh. Yeah, so I ended up letting this one go because I had wanted to catch a female pump kaboo, not realizing how difficult it would be to find a pump kaboo in the first place, let alone female. Um, also, uh, because of the stupid mechanic that they've added in of wild Pokemon being able to attack you before you can run away, which is completely backwards from the regular games. Um, the wild Pokemon chipped down my team until I was left with nothing to show for my efforts except for the Nidoran. So, yeah, I'm just going to skip to the next bit. Eventually find your way back to Brendan, who is deep in conversation with another student. Oh shit, that's amazing, man. Er, uh, woman? Well, it needed to be done, right? And I was in the right place at the right time, and had enough time to do it. Hey! Hiccup, hey there! I just met this chick on the other side of the hill over there, and I knew I had to talk with her. Right, does this have anything to do with her outfit? Hey, I'm Skyla. Brendan here said your name was Hiccup. Nice to meet ya. Same. So, you guys are going on an early morning run in Pokemon catching spree? Huh, getting anything good? Yeah, I got one. I didn't get anything. I was kind of hoping I'd catch something else, but there's always next time, I guess. Yeah, so what are you doing? Running? Oh, I'm scoping out the land for a runway. The fields here are perfect for one. A runway? What are you, a pilot? Bro, that's the crazy thing. She actually is. Whoa, I thought you needed to be like 25 to get a pilot's license. In Unova, where I come from, you only need to be 17. And in Kobukon, you only need to be 18. So it's still legal. So are you planning on setting up your own little runway here? Yeah, might be a couple months to get the area zoned out and approved by Kobukon Air Authority. But I should be able to take people... To other regions soon. Sick! What inspired this? Well, currently my plane is stored in the airport at Inspira, so I need to take a bus over there every time I want to fly, and they're charging me through the nose to keep it there too. Then, uh, won't they have a vested interest in not letting you build your runway there? Here? Yeah, probably, but I don't answer to them. I answer to the KAA, and if they say... What was that? Hmm, I don't see anything. Aw, oh, man, that's an Abyssal. They're from Hone, and they're bad news. Bad news? How can a Pokemon be bad news? They only show up when something really bad is about to happen. Normally, they step in their mountains, so if one's close enough to for us to hear, we might be in trouble. Are Abyssal black and white with long, bladed tails and a single horn? Yeah, why? There's one on top of that hill, and it's running at us at full speed. 
I have no Pokemon. Oh, there it is. Well, you know, full speed is relative, but it is getting closer. Uh, we should do something while we're waiting for it to show up, or... Well, I've got some potions in case your team needs them. Yeah, yes, 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 I need them. So, you guys come here often? Sure! Three on one? Well, that doesn't seem very fair. Okay. Alright, this thing's a dark type, so... Frick. Probably gonna want to switch out. I'll say tank. I'm not happy that you don't know that many moves, but whatever. Ooh, Water Pulse. That's a good move. Well, there goes Sand Shrew. Uh, let's go Mudkip. It's level 28? Maybe... Maybe Growl. What type is this? Try wing attack. Or, you know, that could be a thing. Yeah. I feel like catching it. Oh jeez, that was tough. We just barely beat it off. I'm surprised, Hiccup. You're pretty good at battling, huh? Are you sure you just started out? Pretty sure, yeah. It's weird though. Abyssal are bad luck. Everyone knows that, but normally they're pretty calm. Wonder why I got this one riled so up. Wonder what got this one so riled up. Who could say? Maybe its habitat was disturbed or something, or... Or the meteor! Huh? A meteor? A meteor. Right there. Whoa! Not again! What do you mean again? Anyone dead? Not me. We need to investigate that. I don't know, meteors are nasty business, you know? We should probably get a professor and homeroom soon. But what if it's an alien invader? Then we have the duty to vanquish it. <clears throat> alien invaders aren't our problem. I mean, we're not even legal trainers yet. Well, what do you think, Hiccup? Uh, where'd he go? Dude's already halfway to the impact site. Guess we're going then. Well, hey, if you want to run back and get a professor, be my guest. I'm going. Man, I really can't afford to be late to class. <clears throat> <coughs> Losing my voice a bit. 
You make your way to the impact zone, sprinting and jumping over fallen trees and large gouges in the dirt as you do. When you arrive, however, you see no traces of the meteor. Rather... Oh! Okay. Um... Was not expecting that. Oh shit, did the meteor hit someone? Hey, hey, are you alright? Hold on, I'll call someone to come help. Ah, uh, wait, what's the number for the ambulance in Kobukon? It's not 119, like in Kanto. Is it 999, like in Galar? Crap, I should look this up first if I just... Wow, Hiccup, you're fast. What? Oh no, what happened? Did the meteor hit her? I don't know, that's what I thought, so maybe? Hey, I caught up, what's... Holy crap, did the meteor hit that girl? I don't know. Nobody knows if the meteor hit her. What's the number for an ambulance in Kobukan? What? No, don't call an ambulance. You want to bankrupt the poor girl? Right after she got hit by a meteor? Bankrupt? Yeah, don't you know how much they charge for ambulances in this region? You have to pay for an ambulance? Welcome to the American healthcare system. Well, how else are you, we going to get her to a hospital? We can't fly her. I think I saw a helicopter in Inspira. If I hitched a ride to the city, I might be able to steal it. Why do you think this is a better plan than just calling a damn ambulance? While you and your friends are panicking, you don't notice the girl has clawed her way out of the crater and... Ah! Are you okay? The girl ponders for a moment, then slowly touches her fingertips together in the universal okay gesture. So the meteor didn't hit you. The girl shakes her head. Damn, then how did you end up in that crater? The girl's eyes go wide and her hands begin moving in unfamiliar but intentional patterns. Uh, anyone? Oh, I think I know what's happening here. Hey, sweetie, can you, um, speak? The girl shakes her head. Damn, imagine not being able to speak and getting hit by a meteor. That's double unlucky. Well, she wasn't actually hit by their meteor, remember? Wait, where is it? Most meteors vaporize before they hit the ground, and those that don't usually vaporize on impact. Maybe the meteor hit, vaporized, and then she fell in the crater? The girl, sh the girl shakes her head emphatically and begins signing again, more intensely. I'm really sorry, none of us know how to sign, but if you're really okay, I'm sure there's someone at the academy who knows. The girl seems to calm down significantly. She still looks distressed. We'll bring you back to the academy and find someone who can translate for you. Then if you need it, we'll bring you to the hospital, okay? The girl slowly nods her head. All right, well, let's uh, head back to school. Brandon, I know you want to get back to homeroom, so you don't need to stick around for this. Are you sure, man? Yeah, it's fine. Go on back to homeroom. I'll call you if something comes up. All right, thanks a bunch. All right, Skyla and, um, you, sorry. I'm not sure what to call you. Damn, I don't suppose you have pencil and paper on you. The girl shakes her head. Right, and Skyla, you obviously don't either. What do you mean? Well, you're out, fair, uh, it's... Does this girl seriously not see it? What do I even say here? It's completely skin tight and kind of shows off everything. It doesn't have pockets. Oh, gotcha. Anyway, let's all head back to school. Come with me. Without warning, the new girl obediently walks next to you and grabs your hand. Oh, okay. Well, that's a neat trick. I swear I didn't do it on purpose. What is this? For energy on steroids? No, I can't keep attributing everyone's behavior to for energy. She's probably just stare scared and wants someone to hold on to. Though she didn't grab Skyla's hand. You make your way back to the academy. The mysterious girl is surprisingly cold and clamp clamped tightly around your I can't read you take her to Professor Oak's lab reasoning that you can wait for him there until homeroom is over meanwhile Skyla goes to homeroom with Professor Sycamore <clears throat> so, okay so we've got paper here what's your name the girl in quick <sighs> I can't read writes Venetia but I go by Tia Venetia 
Huh? That doesn't sound like a Kobukanian name, or Cantonian one, come to think of it. It's not, I'm new to the region. Are you a student here? That would explain how you ended up in the fields. No, I'm just... Yes. Are you sure? Yes. No. Yes. Hmm. Now might not be the best time to push for more details. Maybe she's a bit dazed from the fall. Lad, what on earth happened and who's this? Well, uh, I was out in the field this morning when a couple of friends and I saw what looked like a meteor crash into the fields. When we arrived at the impact zone, there weren't any traces of the meteor, but this girl was in the crater. Oh, are you all right? Tia quickly begins signing at Professor Oak at rapid speed. Uh, apologies, but this method of communication utterly escapes me. Hold on, she's got a pad and paper and a pen. Tia purses her lips, but begins writing on paper impatiently. I'm fine, I'm... Tia takes a quick glance at you. A student here. Ah, well that's good to hear. Seems you're right where you need to be then. Though a checkup at the hospital probably wouldn't be remiss. Who is your homeroom teacher? I'll let them know that you were delayed, and not mark you absent. Tia looks at you helplessly. What? I don't know what to say here. I mean, I can't lie. Hey, uh, Sam, what do you think about Professor Cherry? Uh, Cherry? Well, she's a decent enough professor. I suppose, startlingly young, but that's certainly nothing I hold against her. Actually, I keep meaning to have a good sit-down conversation with her, but her schedule is so full, I can rarely find time to talk to her. Anyway, miss, your homeroom teacher. Professor Cherry. Oh, is that right? Well, perhaps you can just tell her to call me to confirm your excused absence. Tracking that woman down outside of her homeroom is utterly impossible. How convenient. Ah, excuse me. I don't believe I caught your name. Refresh me. Tia sneaks another furtive glance at you. Bianca Vongol? Huh, so she's trying to hide her identity, huh? I should probably temp tell Sam about this, but... The way she grabbed my hand earlier, I think she's afraid. Like she's running from someone or something. Until I know why she's hiding herself, I probably shouldn't stop her for no reason. Well, you should both run back to your rooms and get changed. If you hurry now, you should be able to get into your uniforms before your first elective. Right. Thanks, Sam. Hey, be real with me. You aren't a student here, are you? Tia, having left paper back in Oak's lab, shakes her head. It's fine, but you're going to need a room, and you'll need an ID card to get into the cafeteria in most buildings. And someone's going to realize that Bianca Vongol isn't a student here. Tia quickly digs into her skirt and pulls out an ID card. Though the name says Bianca Vongol, the picture is unmistakably the woman standing in front of you. Uh huh, plot twist. So you actually are Bianca? Tia shakes her head. But you look exactly like her. Tia nods. And you have her ID card. Did you steal it? Tia seems offended and shakes her head emphatically. So you must be Bianca, right? Tia shakes her head. Why do I feel like I'm Man Ray talking to Patrick? Then what's the deal? Tia begins singing with great gusto at you. All you can do is watch helplessly. Oh, signing. Sorry. Uh, here, take my phone. Just type out a message there. Tia takes the phone in wide-eyed bewilderment, jumping a little when the electric screen flashes on. She examines it from every angle before slowly typing a message. I. Co. Tia types slowly and deliberately that you quickly realize you're going to run out of time before your first elective. It truly seems like she's never used a phone before. Hey, you know what? It'll probably be faster for us to just find an interpreter. But I've got to go to my elective now, and you need to go to... Apparently... Hey, come on, what's with a sad face? I'm not ditching you, honest. I'll find you during lunch. Would that work? Oh, they made her crying. I'm sorry, I don't know what you want. Tia signs at you aggressively to no avail. Do you know how to sign up for electives? If this is your first day and you weren't around for the opening weekend, you must have missed that, right? 
Kia nods enthusiastically, her mood seemingly instantly improved. Alright, now we're getting somewhere. I guess you don't have a phone, so you can use one of the computers in the library to lock in your electives selection. Just follow me. After teaching Tia how to blah blah blah. Okay, she's in the class. Great. Um, I guess I'll go to poison class today. Since I've now got a poison type. Hey, Ethan! Hiccup! Good to see you! Let's get this done! I wonder where the teacher is. Did you know that if the teacher isn't here in 15 minutes, you're legally allowed to leave? Well, yeah, there's no law saying we can't leave before 15 minutes either. Although, I guess maybe Kobukon might have some weird thing like that. Probably not, though. Whoa! Was this guy here the whole time? Oh, welcome to Poison Class, children. I am your instructor, Koga. What is this guy? Some kind of ninja? I am not only your master of poison type Pokemon, but also a master of ninjutsu. Of course. You are here because you expect me to teach you about poison Pokemon. In that, you are correct. But that is not all I will teach you. I shall teach you the importance of the human and Pokemon mind, and how easily they are to manipulate. Let me start this class with a simple question to you. What makes a strong Pokemon? This sounds like a trick question, but it's gotta be... The Pokemon's level, duh. Is that even a real question? <laughs> and how can you be so sure? What? Its combat potential will be higher, obviously. And how can you be a teacher and not know that? Speaking of which, what kind of teacher's late to class? I thought this was the new universe. Ah! Holy shuriken! I think that was a kunai, actually. Uh, a fool! If you understood Pokemon, then you would have understood why I remained hidden. Can anyone guess why? I'll give you a hint. It is more important than strength, technique, skill, all of that. <clears throat> Nobody knows? Well then. Is it knowing your opponent before the encounter? Go on. Like, you analyze their weak points and capabilities beforehand, so you don't have to make things up on the fly. You! What? Explain your thinking, Hilda. It's really self-explanatory. If you engage a Pokemon or a trainer without knowing about them, you immediately put yourself at a disadvantage. It's Pokemon Battling 101. Hilda is a correct. Pokemon are not merely about brute strength. You must understand your opponent's strengths, weaknesses, their mentality. If you know these things, even the weakest Pokemon can defeat the strongest. On the field, you must exploit every possible advantage you can get. If there are none in sight, then you must make them for yourself. Confusion, poison, sleep, all tools to gain the upper hand, and all signature tools of a poison type of Pokemon. You shall soon learn... You shall learn soon enough. This guy's making it sound like we're going to assassinate someone rather than just study Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, but why do you look so happy about that? I mean, uh, I've played a lot of Assassin's Creed. <laughs> Koga lectures on many ways the weak may uproot the strong. Ah, has it been one hour already? Oh, very well, you are dismissed. Before you know it, class is over. Sweet. Poison proficiency increased to one. And that's the end of the lecture. <clears throat> Hiccup, eyes up here. Huh? Oh, uh, yes, sir. You seem distracted. Very much so, sir. Well, as long as you're aware, you've been paying attention well in all the other classes, so I'll let this slide. Thank you. Just don't doze off again. You're paying too much to be here for that. I'm not paying to be here at all. Whitney, come over here. Oh, hey, Whitney, what's up? Oh my gosh, I'm going to fight you, but you're so strong and so good at battling. I don't even know if I have a chance. Uh, okay. 
Go easy on me, I'm very delicate. Sure. I've seen your frickin' mill tank, don't give me that bull. Oh. Well, frick, never mind then. This is gonna be frickin' easy. And there it is! Hmm, well... Oh, okay. I can poison it. Wait, how did it get health back? Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. That freaking mill tank. I hate that mill tank. What the hell? Sorry. I might have lied a little bit about how strong I am. Even with all the progress my team has made, it seems like all my classmates are way further than me. Aw, oh, don't worry about it. You did really well, and if I hadn't taken you by surprise, I might have lost. Sure. That was dishonorable. Huh? But shouldn't I take every advantage I can get? There are some advantages that cause you to lose more than you gain. Ah, uh, this is going to be a bit awkward, but I think uh, actually, I actually think hiding your power is a perfectly fine strategy. If you mislead your opponent a bit, well, it's fine if you do that during the battle. So why not before? I do it all the time. It's dishonorable when you do it too. Heh, <laughs> Bruno, I've been good friends. Heh, <laughs> Bruno and I have been good friends for many years, but we don't agree on everything. Since we can't agree what we should be teaching here, I hope the lesson you learn is that everyone has different ideas of what a good victory or a good loss are. Oh, okay. Well, whether it was a good win or a good loss, it was fun. Never had so much fun getting my face stomped by a cow. That's the spirit! You know, most people can't give me a really tough fight, and some don't even try, so it's cool that you went all out like that. Oh, hey, come on. Don't mean to brag or nothing, but I'm kind of popular. Not like Rosa popular, but well-known enough, and I guess people think beating me would make them look bad. Are you sure that they lost on purpose? cow of yours is crazy so wait so you know a lot of people right pretty much yeah weird question but there's a student i want to talk with and she doesn't speak do you know anyone in this school who knows sign language do i totally which regions i i have no idea well if you want to head to lunch together maybe we can find this girl of yours and i might recognize her signs you have experience with sign language yeah, I even know the Johto variant. No shit. Well, how'd that happen? <laughs> I'm a woman of many talents. No, but for real. Oh, a girlfriend of mine and Johto was deaf mute. We basically grew up together, so I learned it pretty young. Huh. Was that friend named Bianca? Girlfriend, like GF girlfriend. Oh. Oh. Anyway, Bianca... Like that blonde who hangs out around the Univins? Nah, my girlfriend was blue-haired, and her name was... Uh, well, it wasn't Bianca. Hmm, past tense, I'm noticing. All good things to come to an end. <sighs> anyway, so, you and Flannery? <laughs> no, she's a project. I won't tell her that. Thank you. What are y'all talking about? Now we offer today. Enjoy the rest of the day. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Moving on. Now, let's see. Where is she? Who are you looking for? Uh, brown hair, olive skin, even shorter than you. Hey, I may be short, but that just means I'm dense. Lots of power packed in a small frame. Don't think I've ever heard someone claim to be dense so pridefully. Well, there's a first time for everything. Oh, wait there. I don't recognize her. So that must be our girl. Yep, that's her. Whitney begins speaking, her hands signing at the same time. Hey, I'm Whitney. Hiccup said you know sign language. Do you know JSL? Tia looks confused at first, but rapidly begins signing. Whitney does too, and you can hardly keep track of how fast their hands are flashing back and forth. 
Whoa, 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 slow down. I don't know this exact dialect. Okay, yes, I hear you. Uh-huh, got it. About ten minutes pass before Tia shows any signs of slowing down. He watch bemusedly as the two tiny women gyrate around, having a loud, animated conversation without making a sound. I can't keep up. When was the last time you had a conversation? Jeez, my hands are going to be so sore. Uh, I don't mean to interrupt, but can I get the gist? Oh, the gist is the girl had a sucky day, she hit a meteor, and got super tired? Then she was abducted and brought here, then you abandoned her, and then she couldn't find her way to her class and has just been hiding in abandoned classrooms since this morning. I'm probably mistranslating a lot of that. Tia shakes her head. Whitney doesn't no notice. Ah, oh, geez, I'm really sorry about that, Tia. I had you... I told you how to sign up for electives, but you but didn't tell you how to get to them, did I? Bonehead move on my part. Sorry. Tia, is that your name? Tia quickly shakes her head and begins signing something new. Bianca, Bianca, so that's why you asked Hiccup. Vongol? Wait, Bianca Vongol, oh my god, Dormy, you were supposed to be the fifth person in our room, but you never showed up. What happened? You, how come you were so late to school? It's been almost two weeks. Bianca looks at you, then at Whitney, then at you, and shrugs. Uh, you don't know? How can you not know? Hey, maybe we should just leave that alone. You know, maybe she didn't even say, I don't know. It might be a mistranslation. She shrugged. That's not something you can mistranslate, Buster. I'll take your word for it. You're the sign expert. Still, it's great that you two are roommates. Really convenient. You can help show her around, you know. Bring her back to your dorm. Bring her to classes until she gets situated. Stuff like that. Okay, what aren't you telling me? Huh? You called her Tia and she's suddenly showing up almost two weeks after school begins, telling wild stories about meteors and kidnapping. There's something fishy going on here. I, uh, I can't tell you. I mean, I don't even really know, but what it, but if I'm going to figure it out, you're probably going to as well. After all, I need you to translate. Hmm, it's good to keep me my signing in practice, but if I'm going to third wheel for you and Bianca, I'm going to need you to do something for me. Of course, anything. I mean, within reason. <laughs> you totally owe me now. Uh, what do I owe you? Everything, but I'll tell you specifically what you owe me later. Great, if I owe you money, that might be a problem, but I'll see what I can do. Whoa, whoa, I think she wants to talk to you, Hiccup. Mind translating? That's what I'm here for. Hi, I'm so glad we can finally talk for real, well with Whitney's help. Well, this is kind of a weird experience, talking through someone like this. Wait, are you translating this to... She isn't deaf. When you're signing for someone else, you just translate everything you hear. It takes more time to turn off the part of your brain that does the con conversion. Oh, so it's a mindless activity? Maybe I could learn to do it then, too. Haha, <laughs> you're so funny, Hiccup. Uh, thanks, Bianca. You can call me Tia in front of Whitney. It's all right. She's a good person, so I don't need to hide myself. Um, are you hiding from someone then? I kind of got that vibe. Yes. Who? Tia glances at Whitney, who is studiously signing not a glimmer of recognition or acknowledgement of the strangeness of the conversation present on her face. A bad person. Do you know who this bad person is? No, but they're somewhere around here. I can smell them. Uh, Whitney, want to double check that one? I'm... Pretty sure I read that correctly. She definitely signed smell. Can we stop this bad person by going to the police? No. Are you sure? If you're in danger, they can help. I don't think they can. It's best if I just hide. I don't want anyone to know I'm here. Well, I won't tell anyone then, but your dorm mates will know. What's she signing? Nothing. She's just thinking. Would you stop backseating my interpretations? Oops, sorry. I think that's fine. She doesn't seem confident. Well, you can rely, rely on me. I'll keep you safe no matter what the problem is. Thank you, I trust you. And uh, I'll start by learning sign language, I guess. Maybe if we have some classes together, you can teach me. I would love to do that, I... What is it, Whitney? Um, I'm definitely getting something wrong there. What? What do you mean? She said 
she likes your scent? Uh, well, I put on some Haxorus body spray this morning. Of course, I spent most of the morning sweating and running around, but it is meant to be long-lasting. Ew, no, only dudes like that stuff. Only dudes think that stuff smells good. Uh, yeah. What do you think I'm wearing it for? Oh, huh, okay. You and Whitney spend the rest of lunch interrogating Whitney, Tia, until Whitney begins to complain about imminent carpal tunnel and the conversation slows down. During that time, Tia never once looks away from your face, eyes wide and admiring. Right, okay. It's a bit of an ego boost, but also intensely distracting. Eventually, Whitney and Tia leave lunch slightly earlier so Whitney can show Tia where her room is. Oh boy, all this just because I was there in the field this morning. Next time Brendan asks me to go on an early morning run with him, I'm just going to bury my head in the pillow. Thanks, Hilbert. Alright, well, I think I am out of time for this particular session, so I'm going to end the video right there. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you are enjoying it as much as I enjoy playing this game and making it. If you want to play the game for yourself, go download the game from... Uh, Pokemon Visuals Twitter page, join the Discord, become a part of the community. You know, it'll be fun. We can all hang out. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And that, as they say, is that.